Hey everybody, I'm Philip, and today we are going to take a quiz, and we're going to find out what horror character trope are you? As some of you know, I am a giant horror fan. I have been since I was eight, and yeah, so I'm very interested to see what horror character trope I am and if I agree with it or not. So without further ado, let's get right into the quiz. What horror character trope are you? This quiz is so cursed, I'm sorry. Well, I'm already cursed, so... You find a wooden box of items on the side of the road. Take one is painted on the box in bold black letters. It feels wrong, but you can't resist the urge to take one of the interesting items. Which item do you take? Fuzzy brown teddy bear, a small notepad. Why are you hurting me? It's messily scrawled into the first page. A tiny box that contains someone's teeth. Ugh. A small clown figurine. The way that the paint is stripped off, it's uncanny. A gold necklace with a lapis lazuli and diamond evil eye pendant. An antique pocket knife. Ooh. Hmm. Which one would I take? So I find a wooden box on this. I'm not taking the teeth and I'm not taking the clown figurine. Hmm. The pendant sounds cool. But so does the pocket knife. I'd probably take the gold necklace just because I would want to give it to Justin because he would think it was really nice. And I think he would really like that. So yeah, I'll take the necklace. Pick a creature. Black cat, maggot, rabbit. Scorpion, bat, fox, black cat. Pick a weird idiom. Even a worm will turn. Speak of the devil. Curiosity killed the cat. Burning the midnight oil. Butterflies in my stomach. Cost an arm and a leg. I would say burning the midnight oil. Just because that's pretty close to, I guess, me. I guess, <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. Like, I'm, I'm nocturnal and... So technically, I am actually right now burning the midnight oil as we speak. So uh, yeah, we'll go with that one. Choose a weapon. Kitchen knife, rifle, scalpel, wine bottle, shard of glass, shovel. Mm, kitchen knife. Kitchen knife. What motivates you? Revenge, spite, love, curiosity, survival, or spirituality? Hmm... Survival, I would say, motivates me. Um, not to get too uh, sappy or melodramatic, but I've been through a lot. I've went over it on this channel <laughs> as openly and honestly as I can. So uh, my survival is something I'm actually very uh, proud of. And so, yeah, I will pick that one. Pick a song lyric that makes you go absolutely feral. I'm sorry. Venus, planet of love, to struggle warming. Did it be one too much? Mitski, nobody. Silicone, saline, poison, and check me, baby. Gaga. I can tear blackbirds screaming. Cathedral spilling midnight on their altars. Ludo. Burning on just like a match. You strike to incinerate the lives of everyone you know. Cracking under pressure violently. Chaos eats away the best of me. KMFDM. Everything is fine in heaven, but I'll never get to know. Nicole Dollinganger. Hmm. Ludo, the horror of our love. I wake in terror, blackbirds screaming, dark cathedrals spilling midnight on their altars. What did you see in the corner of your eye? A pair of eyes? A rodent? A shadow? A person running? A skeleton peering at you from the doorway? I don't know. Mine is usually a combination of a shadow and a person running. If I see anything out of the corner of my eye, it's a shadow that's running really quick. I can't say if it's a person. Sometimes I think it's a uh, like a dog or a cat or something like something that that sized that is just. Whew. So I'm gonna go with a shadow, just because it's the most consistent thing I see. Um. So yeah, because sometimes it's not always a person. So uh, shadow. Pick a place: an abandoned hospital, a carnival, a laboratory, a forest, a haunted house, a beach. Oh, abandoned hospital, 110 percent. Oh my gosh, yes. Me and my camera, like, I would come out of semi-retirement to go photograph at an abandoned hospital. There is one actually here in Ohio that you can photograph at. I think it's where Shawshank was filmed, but it costs a lot of money and I am a poor boy. And I also don't do group shoots anymore because my body can't take it. Next, where will you go when you die? Heaven, hell, the void, I'll haunt the earth. I'm gonna haunt the earth. Like, yeah. Yeah, be mean to me now, just wait. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? Cult of personality. A monster, myself, me, and I'm sexy. Someone I don't know. I don't recognize them. Yeah, that last one. Yeah. Um, looking in the mirror is not one of my favorite things to do. Uh, 11 years of pain and agony just completely changed who I am and what it looked like. I mean, I went from having a full head of 
poofy curly hair to no hair and yeah and putting on weight and just being this broken cursed thing i am now so yeah someone i don't know i don't recognize them all right that was number 10 let's see what trope i am i am the psychic who warns others of coming doom you could feel the tension in the air you warned others but they scoffed at you said you were crazy and paranoid but you knew they're dead now god what the hell but I'm, I'm happy with the psychic who warns others of coming doom i like this quiz if you want to take this quiz i will leave a link in the description below this is not a sponsored video i just if this sounded interesting to you and you want to do it yourself go take it and then in the comments below let me know what you got that's gonna wrap this one up as always i don't have a fancy outro but i'll simply say thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye